In this video I'll show you how to connect this HP OfficeJet Pro 9125E to the internet, to your Wi-Fi network. Everything is done with this touch screen, so let's go over here and I'll show you how this is done. So what we need to press first is the menu button. Then go down until you're gonna see settings. Click on the settings. Then select network. Select Wi-Fi, the first option. Make sure Wi-Fi is indeed turned on. And then we need to click on start beside Wi-Fi setup wizard. It will search for all the Wi-Fi networks that are currently around this printer. And yours will appear in this list. Mine is the number one over here, so I'll click on it. And now it's time to type the Wi-Fi password. So simply click on this rectangle. You may have to click multiple times for the screen to register and now use the keyboard. If your password has numbers, click over here. You also have access to some symbols. Press OK. Submit. OK. And now wait, you're gonna get a green check mark with connection successful. And over here, simply press OK. Now let me show you how to connect a smartphone and how to print with it since we have connected your printer to the Wi-Fi. Next step on your iPhone, if you want to print, you do not need to download the HP Smart app. All right, the HP Smart app is only useful if you want to scan and get the results on your phone and I'll show you this in just one minute. But for now, let's print a document or a photo. So I went ahead and um, opened this PDF file that was on my iPhone. You can also open a picture on the camera roll if you prefer printing that. And on the lower left side, you're gonna notice there is this square with an arrow pointing up. Click on it. And you should see print in this list. If you don't see print on the bottom, scroll down and print should be one of the options. Now where it says printer, make sure that you select your HP printer. Here we go. Obviously the iPhone need to be connected on the same Wi-Fi network as uh, your HP printer. Click on it. And now select the number of copies. Do you want in color? Do you want to print on both sides of the, print, uh, of the page? And the paper size. If we go down, you also have media and quality. Click here and you'll have to choose between draft, normal or best. For, I would say, most of the things you're going to print, normal is pretty okay. But if you're printing pictures or something with a lot of details, I always suggest you drag this so you select best. This obviously will give you the best results, but it will also be printed at a slower pace. I'll keep it to normal for now. And once you're ready, press print. Again, make sure that your printer has some paper in the tray and extend the output tray just like that. Now let me press print and wait. Here we go. It was quite quick and it looks great, you see? Now let me show you how to scan a document. This printer has two different scanners. I'll show you how to use both of them and get the results directly on your iPhone so you can share them or you know save them for later usage. So as I said before, if you want to scan and get the results on your phone, you need the HP Smart app. It looks like this. Go on the App Store, search for HP Smart and download the app. Then open. This is the main menu of this app and usually if you didn't add any printers in the past you should see a setup or add printer button right on the top. Click on it. If you don't see it, you see on the top right corner is the same thing. It's a printer with a plus sign. This is how you add printers. Then select already connected to network, the um, option below since the printer is already connected to your Wi-Fi network. And from here, select your Office Jet Pro 9120E. You may see on the side finish setup, you don't have to do it, okay? What they will do if you press here is trying to sell you their subscription service, Instant Ink, 
where you pay a certain amount of dollars every month and they allow you to print for free. I mean, for free, you're paying, it's not free, but they will allow you to print a certain number of pages, but you won't have to buy a ink anytime soon. So this could be something that could be interested, but hey, uh, I won't click over here since uh, I already know what it's all about. Now, another important thing to mention, and again, I'm not really happy with that, is that HP requires you to log in into your HP account if you want to use any of these uh, settings down below. So, on, so to do this, you need to go on the lower um, right side over here where you see account, click on it. And if you don't have an account, it takes two minutes. It's free to, to do it log in into your account and then you'll be able to have access to these uh, options. So to scan, go down and select printer scan. Now it's time to insert the paper in the printer. Let me show you first this scanner. This is the normal scan bed scanner. There was already something here, but let's say I want to scan this page. Well, put it facing down with the top part of your page towards the left side, like that. Then we need to connect the corner, the top left corner of your page with the top left corner of the printer. So simply glide and both of these should touch. Close the scan lid and on your phone, click over here where you see A4 normal 200 dpi. The scanner has a few settings we can change. So you can select the page size. In my case, this is US letter size. So I'll click here. And then input source, you can leave it to automatic. This printer is smart enough to know if you have input paper over here or on the scanner on the top that I'll show you just in a few seconds how it works. Then quality, by default, it's 200 and just leave it like this for most of the stuff you're gonna scan. If you're gonna scan a picture or something with a lot of details, select 300 DPI instead. And now you have, if you want in color or black and white, I'll press done and press the scan button. All you have to do is to wait. If you have selected 200 DPI, it usually takes less than uh, 13 seconds to have the results on your phone. Almost there, here we go. So scanning is finished, but it's not saved yet. We're not done. So by default, they will show you a rectangle, a blue rectangle on what it thinks you want to save. I don't know why they do this. Honestly, I'll just press the full button over here and it will, oops, sorry. It will uh, save the whole page, the full page. And most people, this is what they want to do. If you simply want to save a detail, you can drag these circles. So it's only saves a part of your scan. Then press next. And here we have a few options on the top. So we have add, but add is not really useful in my opinion, since you can input another page on this scanner and um, scan it by pressing add and it you'll have multiple pages over here. But this printer has an automatic document feeder that can scan many pages at the same time. So this is not very useful. Then we have rotate if you want to rotate the result, if you're not happy. So you can press on the page you want to rotate then rotate over here and you see it changes. I'll press cancel. You have text extract if you want to extract text from your PDF file. So if I want to copy paste this, I can press um, text extract. And you also have scribble in case you want to uh, put some annotations. So if you want to circle stuff, put arrows, you can do it this way. You can also delete this scan if you are not happy with the results simply by pressing the three dots and selecting delete. When time comes to save, you have a few options down below. Print preview will simply print whatever you're seeing on the screen. Then you have share and save. If you click here, you'll be able to give this document a new name. So click over here, you can delete this default name, put your own name. And you have file type where you'll be able to select which kind of uh, file type you'd like to save. If it's a text document, simply leave it to basic PDF. But if it's a picture, uh, maybe a painting, JPEG is um, what most people will choose. At the end, press continue. And from here, you'll be able to share it on social media with your contacts on certain apps. You can scroll. And then down below you have 
if you scroll down more options so you can even save it on the memory of your iPhone by clicking save to files. Now let me show you how to scan using the top document feeder. As you see here it has those two flaps. If you're scanning a normal piece of paper, a letter size, you need to push these like that to the extremities. You can flip this part so that the paper that goes out of the scanner doesn't fall on your table. Let's say I have these two sheets of paper I want to scan so I'll put them, align them and I'll place them facing up this time with the top part of your page towards the left side. Glide. You're going to hear a small noise just telling you that it has detected your uh, paper. And then on the app it's the same thing. Click printer scan. It will detect that you have put paper over here and not over there. And press the scan button. As you see now the HP printer will take each pages one by one and scan them. And at the end the results will appear the same way on your smartphone. But this time you'll have multiple pages instead of just one. You can scroll left and right to see all the pages that have been scanned. And again you can save them and um, edit them the same way I showed you previously. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful leave a comment, subscribe, like, but also check my Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to get some ink for your printer, some paper or even a brand new unit. Every time you shop through my Amazon links I get a very small commission and it helps my channel. Thanks and have a beautiful day.